Hi guys, got a suggestion from MT Spaces 100 that I could use the plastic expanding trellis from Poundland to make uh, various projects, toy cars, that sort of thing. I uh, haven't been in Poundland, I've been in 99p store and got their version of the same thing. Expanding trellis. It's thin hollow plastic tubing. The idea is you open it out as a trellis, but as he pointed out, they're easy to take apart. Well, I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, there we go. They're even pre drilled if the holes are in the right place. So you should be able to use them, as I say, to make a car or something. Rather like I was using the plastic conduit. So I'll have a look at this and make something simple. And then maybe make something more complicated later. But I think I could make a, a car fairly easily out of some of this. Right, I've pulled a couple of pieces apart. This is all that holds them together, these little plastic clips. I'm rather intrigued with the idea of trying to make a little rubber band powered car as the first attempt using the absolute minimum extra pieces. I've got some wooden cane here, or yeah, I think it's wood might be um, bamboo, that's a tight fit in the existing holes. So I might use that as cross members and drill a couple of extra holes either end big enough to put the normal barbecue skewers through. I've got some CDs already made up with bottle tops on them, hot glued in place. So we'll, we'll just do that. I'll stick, I'll use these three holes and this as cross members. Let's say drill a couple of extra holes either end for the barbecue skewer and see if we can make a nice quick rubber band powered car just as a first attempt to see what this stuff does. He reckons you can cut them with scissors. See what we can do. That cut, but it's sort of shattered at the same time. Drill some extra holes. Or I could just use a sharp spike. So I say I'm trying to use the minimum tools. So making sure those existing holes still line up. Let's try pushing a hole through. That's gone through okay. But I need them to be a little bit bigger. For that to be free running. Should do. Same at the other end. So making sure those existing holes stay lined up.
sort of lengths do we want? Pencil sharpener there. Just to give us a bit of a point. That's okay, that's okay. I was going to say I was going to try and do this without glue, but obviously I've already used glue on the wheels. So it's not quite going to be entirely without glue. I'd forgotten that. Never mind. We've got big holes on them. I have to find some different ones. And that's some other ones that are already made up. Just to save me a bit of time and effort. Right, that'll be a problem. It's going to jam on the edge of the wheel. I have to re reposition those holes in a minute. I'll just get the general idea up together. Right, easy fix to keep the wheels away from those cross members. I've just got some drinking straw here. to spacers. That'll do. Rubber band over the back axle, wrap it round so it's holding itself in place and then wind it up a little bit. I don't expect I need too much to get it going in here. That should be plenty. Easy. the length of my kitchen and conservatory so that's about eight meters without winding it up very far at all so very lightweight very easy to make job done thanks very much MTS what's it MT spaces 100 excellent idea <laughs>